Hello and welcome to another edition of Out and About. I'm Jeff Ondash. You know, when you think of Mill Creek Park, you always think of the, the beautiful lakes and the very serene landscaping and Fellows Riverside Gardens and, the, and all the beautiful flowers that they have to look at and the strolls you take through nature. But you never think of one other thing and that's on Route 46 right across from the Canfield Fairgrounds and it's the experimental farm and, it, and they have an awful lot to do with that. Uh, it's a great event, a great family event coming up we're going to talk about but some other really exciting things happening throughout the Mill Creek Park system and we're here with Ms. Mill Creek Park, Carol Vigorito. Hi, how are you, Jeff? I'm doing great. So September's gonna be a great month for some family activities in the park. And this is this is just kind of like a one of the best kept secrets in the whole whoa, get out of here. In the whole <laughs> And the whole Metro Park system. It is. It's wonderful. Um, we are actually the Metro Parks Farm. Haven't been called the Experimental Farm in quite some time since we took it over many, many years ago. And there's lots of things out here for people to see and do. And we have some very special events coming up out here, too. All right. So let's talk about in Mill Creek Park, if you're into some physical activity. Yes. And and it's there is no better place to run than running through Mill right. Creek Park. It, right. it takes away all the... The pain that you have because you're surrounded by so much beauty, you forget about the, the aches and pains of running. Exactly, which is why our um, special race here in Mill Creek Park is called the Green Cathedral, because you're running through a cathedral of green, literally. Um, we have a half marathon and a 5K coming up, as well as a kids' fun run, and that will be on September the 11th. Um, the um, the proceeds go to the Karinka Children's Playground at the Wick Recreation Area. The race starts and ends at the Wick Recreation Area, but it goes through some beautiful, beautiful areas of Mill Creek Park. Some challenging ones, too. The so, runners tell me they love the challenges. So there's a 5K? There's a 5K as well as a half marathon. Okay, so for those of you non-runners, that's 3.1 miles, <laughs> or a half marathon is 13.1 miles, and it's really not a long distance. When you're... Even if, and, and you're accepting walkers in that too, correct? Right, in the 5K. Um, if you can finish the half marathon walking within a, a couple of hours, we can, we can have you in the half marathon too, but um, we do close the, the roads down, so we do at some point open the roads again on the half marathon, yeah. September 17th, we have Old Fashioned Fun at Lannerman's Mill. And of course, everybody knows about old fashioned Christmas at the mill that happens after Thanksgiving, but this one is earlier and it's just watching demonstrations, coming out to watch the wood carvers, coming out to watch the, the spinners, the weavers, um, just demonstrating their craft. We also have lots of fun kids games going on on that day. Um, we have, um, let's see, we have some entertainment. Um, Dennis Kempthorne will be out for some, some wonderful music on that day. Um, we have an herb table. We have um, the Melnick Museum is going to come out. You want to find out what is in the old-fashioned doctor's bag. Um, Cassie Nesper from the Melnick Museum will be able to show and tell you what's, what was in that old-fashioned bag. So lots of old-fashioned fun at Lannerman's Mill. Regular mill admission applies. There are small fees for, for crafts, but our regular mill admission is so low. So. Right. And, and, and if, you've, if you live in this area and you've never been to Lannerman's Mill, shame on you. This is a piece of history that's unlike anything. It's unparalleled in the, in the entire Mahoning Valley. You have got to go inside and see this, this piece of history that is well over, what, 150? 170 plus years old, yes. 1845-ish is when it was built. And we are still grinding grain there, and you'll get to see a little bit of that grain grinding and a tour of the, the working grist mill on that day also. The vision that they had back then to put that mill right there on the fall, it, that's just... It's just amazing. But then that's not all going on at Mill Creek Park. We have something else that's going to be happening right here. And this is a fun event for everybody in the family. Yeah, here at the Metro Parks Farm on Saturday, September the 24th from 4.30 until 7.30. It's called Sunset at the Farm. And it's basically just an end of the summer celebration of everything farm. Um, you can get um, a, a tractor wagon ride for free. We don't charge for that. Um, you can come out and enjoy a campfire, roast a marshmallow over that campfire. We hand out a certain number of, of marshmallows till they're gone. Um, you can taste apple cider. You can taste um, apple butter, watch it being made. 
Um, there will be some campfire entertainment, just a great day to visit the barns and the animals, all kinds of fun things going on for those very short hours until the sun sets and hopefully we'll have a beautiful, beautiful sunset and then um, it's basically the end of summer. And it is majestic when you get the pink skies and the big billowing clouds at night. It's one of the most beautiful places to ever see a sunset Absolutely. is when you're coming by here. If we get a day like today, it'll be just gorgeous. Okay, one more thing. We'll cover one more. We got time for one, one more. One more, and this is actually a series of events that starts in September and then goes all the way through October and into November. And that's our ballroom dance series. And you could learn how to disco dance, right? <laughs> well, this time it's swing and waltz in um, October it changes again and I'm not even sure what Linda McPhail from time to dance has in store for us for for October for the end of October and beginning of November but from September 20th through October on um, Tuesday evenings at Pioneer Pavilion starting at 6 o'clock one of the dances and then at 7 o'clock a different dance you get about an hour lesson of swing and then an hour lesson of waltz and there is a five dollar fee per person per session um, but it's completely walk-in you don't have to register in advance and she does wonders with people who have two left feet trust me <laughs> doesn't matter if you're a beginner or if you've done it for a few years she can work with you and get you dancing it's fun phenomenal exercise too. You don't, you're, you're having fun and you don't even realize the exercise part. Of it. Exactly. It is a lot of fun. She makes it fun. She makes it easy on people. And plus you are dancing on that beautiful ballroom floor of Pioneer Pavilion. That's what the, the upstairs part was built for or remodeled for back in the, the early 1900s. And, and that's, a, I was just going to say, that's a piece of history in our area too. That's over 100, almost 120 years old. It's almost 200 years old. Oh my God. 1821. 1821. Yes. Yes. Almost 200 years old. It wasn't originally a dance hall. Um, it was originally a woolen mill and then it was storage for the old Mill Creek furnace, the, the old blast which furnace, still there, which is it, still right? there and which actually a group from YSU is going to be doing some excavating and some um, restoration on that area sometime in September or October. Wow. So yeah. Come Alrighty, so if you, we've already given you four great things, yeah. plus there's always other things to do. You can go on the bike trail, you can just go through Mill Creek, Mill Creek Park through a for a stroll, run out one of the pavilions for a party. Lots and lots of beautiful and wonderful things to do for everybody in the family. Carol, it's uh, been fun, you've got a lot of things ahead of you. So if they want to go to a website, I'm sure you have one so they can get all this information again. Okay, MillCreekMetroParks.org. All right, and that's it. That's they, where our calendar's at. They go there. You can uh, sign up for dance. You could come out here. You don't need to sign up. You just need to show up yeah. for the run. You should. There's going to be a for sign run, up. For the run, you should go to MillCreekMetroParks.org or RunSignUp.com. Sign up for that in advance. Our, our early bird deadline is actually the 2nd of September, but you can still register after that. And everything else, you just come out and enjoy. And, um, you know, the, the ballroom dance is, is walk-in. Um, pay your fee when you walk in the door. Um, same thing with the mill. People all over the country would give anything to what we have here. That's going to do it for this edition of Out and About. So please, please take advantage of everything the Mill Creek Park has, the Mill Creek Park Metro Parks <laughs> has in store for you. Thanks, Carol. And we're going to be back real soon with more Out and About. So you take care and have a great end of the summer. <laughs>